Hi, this is Larry. What I'd like to talk to you today about is sharing data. Sharing data between methods and also within a class itself. And what we want to first talk about is that data has scope, meaning that data is limited to where it's originally declared, meaning that it has to be declared within a method or within the class itself and how it can be shared uh, within itself, within the class and within the methods, between the different methods. So if we look at it here in this data method, we've declared something called name, right? And this string is it's a string data type, and we're using it. We're collecting data to put into it, and then we're going to write that data out to, a, uh, out to the console. And this data can only, because of the scope of this, the scope of data, this variable can only be used between these brackets for this method. It can only be used with this method because it's whatever is between these brackets can only be used with this method. So if we just start this and run this, you can see it runs pretty nicely. Enter your name for this data. We'll just call dude. Okay. Hi, dude. Okay. And we have it here. So just to illustrate why you can only use it there is because that this data it becomes a place of memory and it's all tied to where the memory addresses and locations being used for that method. Now if we go down to the other method, that data method, let's go and try to use that. So we can just go in there, console, right, line, and go, hi, again, and just put in here the same name, the same variable. And, you know, it's allowed us not to type in there, but what is it doing? Wait a minute, it's got an error here. That red underneath there means an error. And that's because the name does the name name does not exist in the current context. What that means is that it can't find this this is this 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 doesn't have any meaning here because there's no variable described that needs to correlate with that. So what we have to do is we could create our own variable here, but wouldn't be using the same data that we're using up in here. We only want a person to be able to enter their name once. And we're doing that in this data, but we want that data method to be able to use it. So how do we need to do this? Okay, well, we want to share the concept of sharing data between the different methods. And first thing you have to do is that you have to allow and create a method inside the method itself. You need to be able to allow the method to accept data coming in. And to do that, you have to declare variables inside the parentheses next to the, to the method. You've probably been wondering what that's for. Well, what those parentheses are for is to set arguments and basically accepting data into it that's going to be used within the method. In this case here, we're going to uh, create a string and I'm going to call it a name. Okay? I'm going to call it a name. Just give it a name, string a name. And so what we're going to do then is then I'm going to create a, uh, co a command console and say hi again this time we'll put in a name and that what that will do is what that will now correlate and it'll be possible to do it because it's only recognizing it there and it highlights there that we have a variable declared for this method so what you do is you have to declare, if you're going to have anything passed to it, the method has to be able to accept it, meaning that you can have to have a variable declared here. And if you're going to use that data, then you have to use it just like the, you do otherwise. That's the variable name that goes with this. You can use many, up to as many as you want, uh, different parameters, different uh, uh, variables coming into it. But the, this, this method is be able to contain and accept one variable, uh, one uh, string uh, data variable at a time. All right. So how do we then get that get the value of name up in here to display down here? Well, we've already prepped that data. So what we have to do then is call simply call that data the method and pass to it name. So what we're meaning is that we're saying take the name variable that you've actually put value in, you've displayed it, and now put it inside of here, okay? Put it inside of here, 
that goes to the method down in here. So this then goes down to here to a name, and then we're going to be able to display it as a name down in here. Let's put another line in here so that we can see it better. Okay. So this is what it's going to be doing. So watch. Enter your name for this data. Dude. Hi, dude. Hi again, dude. So it did. It did what it was supposed to do. So what we've done in here is take data that was defined and used in this data and passed it. That's what's called passing it down to another method and used it. You'll be doing this a lot in your programming because other methods need to call other methods and other methods need to be able to use the data passed to it. Okay. Now, we've seen this where we have data between both of these, but you could also, display, you could also uh, define data at the class level because you notice class has brackets. And inside these classes, the classes can have properties and methods. And basically, we can put properties means you can put data into it. A method itself can have properties and methods, or basically call methods and uh, behaviors also. So we, that's what we're doing in a method. But a class, you can put the data up in here, and the methods become the methods for it. Now, just as a warning, one of the problems in using the data shared up at the top in the class is that what will happen is that all the methods will be able to use this data, okay? So for example, if I go up here and I create a, uh, I create, uh, a, a uh, variable of a type int and we call it a num, okay, because I'm going to create a number, I'm going to give it a value, just a hard-coded value in here so we can use this. So if you can see what we've done is I, we've actually declared a num at the top here. And we want to use a num. We can use the a num simply down in here, okay? And we can do uh, something that like console. And we go a number. Here's a number. And we'll just add a num to that. And you can see here it says enter a number, and it'll say console right line. Here's a number. Give it another, give it another line here so that we can display it better. And see it? Here's a number. All right. So if you can see, we're gonna I put it up in here, and it's gonna run down in here. All right. Let's try this. Enter your name, dude. And hi, dude, again. And here's the number. Press escape to return. Okay. Uh, and it looks like I got rid of near is the number. I, I put the N in the wrong spot, that's why. Um, so let's just fix that real quick. So we look prettier here as we talk here in H. And what I want to demonstrate now is that I could use this data in all these methods, the constructor method, this data, and as well as the, um, the that data. So I want to illustrate this by here's, here's a number for this data. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it down in here. And I'm going to change just to that data. And I'm going to also put it up in here into the constructor. So it'll run at the same time when the constructor is running. Right after it runs this data. Everything inside of this data. Okay. And for constructor. Okay. So you see, we've, only, we've declared at the top, and we can use it throughout all of these. So let's just run this. Should run. Enter your name, dude. I do. I do it again. Here's a number for that data, this data, and the constructor. Now, one of the points of worrying about this is that when you declare anything at the top of a class like this, that it's available for all the methods, that means any, any method can use it. 
but that becomes kind of some it sometimes gets out of hand when you get hundreds of lines of code or a lot of code the problem is is then you lose control of the data in there meaning that since everybody can use it any method can use it and you if you don't follow through one method could change it to some values or use it in a way it shouldn't be utilized so keep that in mind that you want to keep the the, the data the variable as close to where the real process is going and allow the variable to be passed to another method when you need to use it. In the cases where you do need to share amongst several different members, or if not all the members, because it's going to be shared with all the members, you can also create the variable at the top in the class itself.